Hello everyone, it's Takuya here and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back once again in the world of Road to 56, the mod that is just filled with so much absolute chaos. And you know that if we're going to be playing a nation that is in the base game, but doesn't really have any fun flavor, you know we're going to be here. It is no secret that over the course of World War II that there were a lot of nations that fought in it. I mean, there's a reason why they call it the World War, but then again, there were some nations that were disgustingly neutral. Like you, Ireland. Nah, I'm kidding. We've already done Ireland and we've already done Switzerland. There's another neutral nation in all this that we have not done. Something that managed to avoid the troubles of war, even when all of its neighbors did not. Sweden, the iron Walmart of Europe that everyone wanted to get that sweet, sweet metal from. In the base game of Hearts of Iron, Sweden does not have a focus tree, but you know what? In Road to 56, it does, and by God, is it fun. Look at you, you little welfare proponent in a social democracy. That's gross. That's real gross, Sweden. What happened to the day and age of strong men? Gustavus Adolphus, the glory of the monarchy. You still have a monarchy, but he's, he's old as shit and doesn't do anything. So let's change that. Go ahead and turn historical AI off, and uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see what we can do then. Sweden, land of decent stability, but absolutely no war support because they haven't done shit for the last, like, several hundred years, pretty much. First things first, let's get this house in order. We have a very expansive focus tree as Sweden that covers a lot of different aspects, but as I said, we're, uh, we're going monarchy. Let's get this underway and get the royalists back. Stripping the royalty of their power in 1917 was a drastic mistake. We need to fix this right now. Otherwise, we face the greatest threat possible in politics. Dilly-dallying. Go ahead and get that done. Get the military sorted. We don't really have much of an industry, but, you know, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get these civvies built up in here as quick as we can. And research-wise, we're going to hard focus on industry in the beginning, but, but, we are going to need to actually build up a military fairly quickly and do what it is that we can. The reason being is that when you turn off the historical AI in this game, you don't know shit about what's about to happen. So that means that rather than waiting and biding our time and letting Norway and Finland and all the other things around us build up a industry that we can then absorb, you know, once they've actually built it up, we're going to need to try and rush this as soon as possible. So go, my brothers, begin! Hey, thanks, Germany. Thanks for the guarantee of independence. I appreciate and hope that nothing bad hap- Well, I hope something bad happens to you, but I hope that nothing happens to you, German people. All right, there's the Royalist Return. Next step on here, we have to go over and get the state of disarmament taken care of, because we are unfortunately disgustingly neutral, unlike this guy's eyebrows, which are very aggressive. First step, 150 political power, staunch monarchists. Get this ticking. We need to increase this as much as we possibly can. Our German trade. Yes, that is one of the big things. Sweden historically had a very important trade relationship with a lot of powers around it, particularly Germany, which needed a lot of the high-quality Swedish metals in order to fuel its war machine. This is actually the whole reason as to why Denmark and Norway were invaded, not because they were actual threats, but because potentially if the British had intervened and cut off their access to Swedish trade, well, that was going to be very bad. But this is a historical, so who can say exactly what is even going to be happening over here in the first place? Probably a lot of worrisome stuff, to be fair. All right, there's the state of disarmament. Now we still have 100 some more political power, military staff. Do we want to get another guy? Organization? army drill. Sure, let's get some ticking army experience going in here, and then simultaneously let's see here. Invigorate industrialization, begin rearmament. More than 10% war support and 5% world tension. Alright, we can't do that yet, but we will need to do it fast. So, since we can't do anything over here yet, it is time to still go down the path of industrialization and get this going. On the Swedish penis, pump up this industry. That was an Austin Powers reference. Popular front in France. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Germany flipped monarchy. Okay, okay. Oh, this might actually work out for us then. Time to fix the national garrison issues and bring back our stability. Go ahead and get that done because the garrisons are, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're advocating to get a little bit violent. But also, if the German Empire is a thing, that means that I can probably bind myself closer to them. Yes, let's do it. Expand German trade influence. Get that going. If they're monarchist, I want them. And let's see, now that we have this, it is time to start boosting some of our industry. Go ahead and get this going. Get some civvies. We need, though, for world tension to increase a little bit because if it can then that means that we'll be able to start pumping out stuff for the next level oh wait no war support we have that 10 could i could i do this i can do this i don't even need to do this just yet okay cancel this focus next step begin initial rearmament get that done let's ecuador and peru fight who gives a shit if they'll fight over soccer they'll fight over anything over here there is rearmament and bulgaria whoa whoa bulgaria already joining the central power are you building everything from the very beginning here this might actually be well within my purview to uh to work with the germans let's jumpstart that arms industry and get that going election democratic parties in minority i know that i want that why, why why would i boost any of these why would i boost any of these god damn it okay fine this is the smallest boost even though it's 
still to democracy. Ugh. I want the Democratic parties to be in the minority. Come on, man. All right, 150 more political power. Next step. Uh, could we do the war sport? Probably, maybe. We'll do one more. Go ahead and get the silent workforce. Why not? Okay, there is the arms industry. Now that that is prepared, we have a little bit of a sizable military force going. I mean, it's not much, but at least it's something from the beginning. Now we need to start working on, well, we can't conclude rearmament. That's going to take a little bit of time. So what we need to do is see, can we go over here and do anything else? Can we, uh, nope, nope, can't continue that on that path. Okay, one thing is civilian factories. Fine, fine. A little bit of civilian industry, if you will. Just a little bit. Whoa, Italy, Ethiopia, peace? What? Union of Soviet Socialists? Oh, oh, no. Rome Protocol. And the Soviets are intervening in Ethiopia. This afro is meant for destruction. All right, we are at 45, which means we should be able to go over here and launch Prince Gustav's Kuf. Yeah, we don't want the current king to actually take charge. We want the imperialists to be in charge. And let's expand German trade. We want to increase that even more. Minus 5% consumer goods, plus 10% civvy factory construction. Yes. So I think it also means the Germans can import stuff for free from our country, basically. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, but wait, here we go. War support is up. That means civilian economy. Nope, partial mob. Let's go ahead and get that going. And with the coup launched, we have Prince Gustav. Look at this absolute Chad. Honestly, if anything, if Hitler was still here, th this would probably be a wet dream for him right here. Wait, oh, I can't conclude rearmament yet? Wait, what? Or is one of the following? Started initial stages of rearmament less recently than 210 days ago. Didn't I? I mean, okay, maybe I have to do one more focus after this because I can't... I can't do this just yet. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. One more round of civvies here, then we move on. State of Israel proclaims independence. What? We have an actual labor Zionism? What? When did you get free? And they have, oh, with the Arab Liberation Front. Oh, oh God. This is just asking for violence to occur. Okay, that focus is done. Now that means we can conclude a rearmament. All right, finish this off and let's get ready for war. Potentially, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen yet, but just, just ignore it, it's okay. France and Britain announce an alliance. Really, wait, didn't they do something else? Paris Universal, no, no, they just joined the allies immediately. Okay, well, there you go. There is the conclusion of rearmament. That is done. That means we need to go over here and start getting stuff like anti-air and start building up a supply. We have that, we have trucks. No, we, oh wait, yeah, we do. There we go. Trucks too. Just build up a basic supply of equipment so we have that going. Okay, so now since armament is done, that means we can go back over here and we can issue a claim to have Norway return to, well, mine. Be mine, bitch. You might be able to buy us now, but in this day and age, we can pay for it ourselves with iron and also probably your blood, which has iron in it. Probably a lot of pissed off Norwegians in the comments right now. The National is defeated already. It's 1937. Really? Was the war that small? Damn. Okay. Well, Norway, what say you? They refuse. They refuse. Remember what I said. Iron and blood. Well, you little bitch. Well, how about we expand the garden instead and prepare for some fun? 1920. All right. Go ahead and get all this little cavalry here. Go ahead and spawn that out. And oh, what's this? Oh, you know, it's weird. We have all these random men on horses that just seem to have appeared on the border. That doesn't mean anything bad for you, does it, Norway? Except maybe for the fact that you have a grand total of something along the lines of maybe a possibility of 19 divisions. Maybe. So we're just going to pull a little bit of a sneaky on you now, shall we? All right, we're just going to send all of our troops around here to Samagir. Hogsen, Bergen, just, 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 just send them all around. It's okay. Have no worries. Oslo is falling, but it's fine. Like, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to lose some guys, but they're already halfway gone. So it doesn't really matter. All right. All right. What are we at? What are we at? Almost entirely fallen. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Just move around. Move around. We could take out this last little bit. Yes, we've lost like we've lost a couple thousand men, but it's okay. It's okay. They'll fall eventually. Right? All right. Live guarded. That's done. Demand Alans. No, we can't just do that. We got to wait a little bit more. Increase our production. Beforest Cononaire. Yes, there it goes. Finally, Norway collapsing. Let's just uh, go ahead and take everything then. And also, also, Norwegian Navy. Yes. Take all that, finish things off, and boom. Wonderful. Are we occupying everything? Yes. Yes, we are, which is not good for us. We do not have the manpower to sustain any of this, mind you. So we're going to need to delete some of this right now. Any losses in this case are just bad. We do not want them. But now we need to start preparing for Finland over here. And actually, wait, I realize I can go ahead and cancel this and we can move on over here to demand a land. We got to go ahead and secure this one first. Get that up here and living in conscription. We need more men in the field. Try to get as much of this as we can because we don't have much of a population in the first place to deal 
with here. But we're gonna try, damn it. Mandalin, Finland accepts the demand. Wonderful. Okay, that at least gives us a core, which gives us a grand total of like 100 extra people. <laughs> that genuinely gave us like 100 extra people for our manpower pool. <laughs> damn it. All right, and it's gonna take at least 100 more days for us to do anything there. So now, why don't we try to claim the Danish throne then? Why not? Oh, Yugoslavia, you're already falling apart. What about the rest of the world? Soviets are doing fine. Uh, well, I mean, Japan is burning things down in Asia, but that's usual. Nothing else is um really changing. Uh, he, oh, 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 wow. Peru, you don't look so good. We have a claim. Let's just go ahead and demand a referendum in the first place and see what that does. Oh, they're imposing an embargo. The moment that I start to demand a referendum. Really? Really? Well, their independence is guaranteed by the German Empire. So, son of a bitch, it might not actually work. But I could ally the Kaiser Reich. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we have that option. Oh, your guarantee won't mean shit in that case. They just accepted. Hey. Okay, that is actually stupid lucky considering that they could have just not. They were being guaranteed by both the Germans and the Brits. And they're like, oh yeah, no, we definitely can't take on all these horses that are parked on our border. So you know what? Let's go for the finish crown then. Because now we actually have a surplus of men too, which means we get more divisions in here. Ah. Oh. Mexico breaking to a revolution. Okay, that that that's just normal at this point, to be honest. They refused. They refused. Oh, these bitches. These absolute bitches. How dare you do that, Finland? How dare you? There only ever was one option. Complete and utter destruction, then. There we go. There we go. Just trap all the units. Don't let them do anything. This is perfectly fine. Because the more of their divisions that we can kind of just trap really quickly, the better. All right, just going to take some time. We got to slowly make our way in here. Just do whatever we can to kind of push through. Let's see. 5 to 19. Yeah, we are way outnumbering them at this point in terms of destruction. I think that we can do it pretty nicely, though if we're able to just kind of break through a little section of this, we'll probably be able to do astronomically better. Oh, we have a breakthrough. Okay, okay. I think we can just start heading on down. Come on, we take this, and that takes their supply points. Wonderful. With that, their line can only get even more spread out and thinner. Like, they won't be able to do anything from the side. We can take all the populated points over the course of this entire thing. Quick, we have a breakthrough. We have a breakthrough. We're surrounding them. Let's go. And the second Russian Civil War breaks out. Excellent. That means that we should be safe on this side. That wipes out all these Finnish units. All right, move our way in. Move our way in. They can't stop us anymore. We are breaking through. Yeah, we're losing a lot of our guns here to attrition, but it's fine. As long as we can break on through, we'll be okay. There's the capital. We have it. Or the, yep, they're getting close to falling. Come on, come on. And there they go. Yes. Yes, we take Finland. Ah, not that anyone in history has ever been happy about saying that. There's going to be so many angry Finnish comments now. <laughs> but there it is. The glorious return of the kingdom of Sweden. And we managed to do that in like 70 days, which is awesome because that means that we'll be able to go into our next focus very easily. Federal state of Austria joins the pack of Rome. Oh, 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 a, a, a. This is looking really ugly. But okay, wow, uh, that finishes all of our political stuff here then, I guess, uh, at least for now. Might as well work on the economy, I guess, because we have all the required states that we need in order to form the Empire of Scandinavia, I believe. But I need to have constitutional reform to complete to do, which I think I just got. There it is, constitutional reforms yes which means form scandinavia there it is the well it, it's the kalmar union god damn it that's not exactly what i thought we were going to be doing there but you know what okay and now i guess that means we just bide our time and continue to try to integrate everything over here because we can't exactly do much else oh wait 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 oh now we can start to core things okay all right let's get this going just gonna need time and political power now since compliance is getting up there luxembourg is wait when did luxembourg fall oh oh wow what is this my god the entire world decides to burn now oh oh no oh no belgium declared war on netherlands has joined the allies and is now getting completely creeped oh god there we go we're seeing some nice growth here wait continental intervention would you stay out of my affairs britain Britain, stay the fuck out of my affairs. Yes, and start integrating everything. Whoa, whoa, even the Republic of Carlia. Really? Interesting, interesting. Oh, there we go. The provisional Russian government. Okay, hopefully they don't try to integrate everything because maybe I could snap away Carlia. Right? They have non-aggression pact? Are they guaranteed by anything? No, they're being supported by Lendlease. Maybe, maybe I could go after some of these. 
Molotov Ribbentrop. Really? With the German? This is a monarchist world. Oh, and Germany goes after Poland still. And Poland joins the allies. Oh, it all still happens. Okay, it's been five days since I was recording this. I completely forgot where it is that I was. Ah, oh, right. The world was burning. Well, let's just start preparing for a couple things here then. Oh, as soon as Poland falls over here, that means they can reinforce all their units over on this side. They're already fighting their way into France. Ooh, German Empire looking nice and thick over here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to set up naval invasion. All right, all right. And then we'll be able to surprise them. It should be ready to go over here. So now it's time to ally the Kaiserreich. Let's go, let's go. Oh, United Kingdom, you never expected this. You never expected this now, did you? All right, come on, they're moving into Paris. We can get this going. All right, there's Ally the Kaiser Reich. Wonderful, call to arms, join. And now we should be able to just rush this because it's a total cheeky cheat. There is a whole thing on here that if you join a conflict, right, and it's a day one naval invasion for anyone who's not familiar with the game, even if you are not supposed to have naval superiority, your troops should launch before the enemy actually gets naval superiority, which means that you can launch surprise invasions. It's a really easy, cheeky way that people have exploited things in multiplayer, which is why they usually have rules against it but this is not multiplayer now is it and the royal swedes care nothing for your royal bitch ass in london move over charles here we come see there it goes there it goes into the breach into the breach we go even if they move their ships over it's not going to stop us we could rush this volunteers from italy sure send it to us i do not care yes we're making it over with some divisions some of them are getting caught but it's fine go my pretties serbia join us yes go 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 italy send me help yes Yes, we're taking some serious damage. Oh my God, our fleet is getting eviscerated. Oh, oh my God, it's getting fucking eviscerated. Retreat, you fuckers, retreat, run away. Run, run, I'm gonna lose my entire Navy. Oh no. And I think I lost a whole bunch of manpower there. What, my war, my war support dropped. What? Why is this so low? All right, this is really gonna hurt us. It's fine though, it's fine. We'll, we'll, just, we'll need to replace all these losses here eventually, okay? Oh, I lost, I literally lost every single ship. I lost every single capital ship I had. Oh my God. All right, there we go, there we go. Trap the units, trap the units. Come on, we're making our way in whether you like it or not. How many losses have I actually suffered from all this? Tw only 27,000, but you know, it was the majority of my Navy. It's only like 100 guys a piece in each one of those ships, I guess. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to break down through. We need to break down through here. 39,000 losses. It's okay. It's okay. Just keep on moving in. London Falls. London Falls. All right, all right, all right, all right. H how close? How close are they? How close are they? They are so goddamn close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trap them. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. If we can take Dover, maybe that'll be it. Son of a bitch. Don't put your forces on Dover. Come on. There's Dover. Ah, 96%. All right, there goes the United Kingdom. Finally. Okay, okay. Then that means that uh, France should be falling here soon because the Germans will be able to push all forces over on that side. God, we took some serious losses here, though. 62,000. This truthfully in war doesn't seem like much, but when you have my population base, that's a lot. We extend all these forces over if we can get these troops out, and that means we'll be able to take out France then. All right, let's send all these troops across the border here because as soon as we take out France, that should finish off this war because, right, Major? Yep, France is the only one left in here. All right, let's just push on through. If Germany is not willing to attack, then that's what we're going to have to do because they can't exactly push everything over on this side. They're gonna have to hold. Yes, fall of Paris. There it goes. I doubt, oh no, the French commune did actually fix their issues. Paris is not going to finish it. There we go. Come on, break on through. Coronation of Vladimir the Third. Oh, they are going Russian Empire. Oh my God, we're surrounded by empires. Wait a minute, that doesn't mean good things for Scandinavians when the Russian Empire is involved. There we go, there we go. Knock him out, knock him out, trap him here. There, get Dunkirked. There we go, get another wrap around. I can't believe that the Swedes are having to do all of this themselves down here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna end up taking a lot more of this than I deserve just because of this crap, Germany. Cause you know what, I do deserve it. Oh, I didn't realize my entire Navy had been severely crippled. Huh. Like, I already knew that, but it's even worse than I thought. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Wipe out even more. Finish out the lines. We are spreading this out. I am doing the majority of the fighting now. God damn it. Oh, get Dunkirked. Again, get Dunkirked. You know, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Throw yourselves at the line. Keep on moving forward. I want to finish this off now. Come on. Another cutoff. As soon as we cut these, that means more of these wiped. Excellent. More units wiped means that we're going to be able to move in significantly quicker. Go. Go, my pretties. Charge. Go, my brethren. The Vikings are back and they're burning Paris and everything else in France to the ground. And there it goes. Goodbye, allies. 
And I do love how I get to choose everything that I want as part of this. So you know what? We're, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to keep it to a little bit of role play. I know, I know because of Road to 56, I could take everything, but I'm not going to do that because Germany did truthfully fight for all of it. And I want to keep things fair and they are my ally. So we're going to relive the Viking dream. All of the United Kingdom. We're going to take back Frisia because I mean, that belongs to the Vikings too. And we're going to take Normandy, right? Right. We're, we're, we're going to keep to the things that are truthfully ours. Canada, of course, has Vinland, which rightfully belongs to us. They never should have had that in the first place. So we're going to take part of this and then puppet the rest. And I know it's not role playing, but I want the oil and rubber over here. I just I do. But as for the rest of my points, well, that's going to be dedicated towards seizing all of these naval forces because I want my navy, God damn it. And uh, yeah, there there you have it. Um, it. It doesn't allow the AI to actually do any of their own peace deals. So it doesn't let them puppet anything, which means that Germany now just looks like this. So, you know, I, I, th I think I think it looks pretty good. All right. I think it looks pretty good personally. Italy, why are you embargoing me? All right. Wh why? Come on. Come on, man. That's not cool. You helped me do this in the first place, motherfucker. Wait, Italy is going after the Hellenic Republic. Are they are they in any allies? No, they're just, oh, whoa. The Pact of Rome is actually way bigger than I thought. Dawn of the Czechoslovakian Covenant. What? <laughs> they just split off from this? They immediately turned on the Pact of Rome and are just getting eaten. Czechoslovakia, you idiots, you were in the alliance. Italy declared war on the German. Why? Why, you idiots? Okay, you know what? We're bringing back the Carolines and we're marching south, baby. Are right, seriously gonna just throw yourselves over here at me? Really? All right, well, if you insist. Oh my God, are you serious? You left this completely open. How fucking dare you? I took this land fair and square. You are not going to steal this from me. Okay, I didn't do this fair and square, to be honest. Russia. No! The Russian Empire is joined as my enemy! No! <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Quick, just spawn these units out. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, with just these two, we should be able to do at least something semi-decent. God damn it. All right, we're abandoning this front. Let them attack on the side. We can defend it. All right, fuck, go, 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 go. We outnumber them now. Let's keep on going. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Come on. We're going to wipe out the Dutch. Wipe out the Dutch. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That settles that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now we're going to need to try and hold back the Russians. We have to help our allies over here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Send out the forces. See if we can hold all along the line. There we go. We're shoring it up. I cannot fucking believe that all this happened just now. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. That's right. Hold the line, hold the line. We got this, we got this. Question is, what do we focus on first? I mean, the Russians are going to be throwing themselves at us as much as possibly can over here. So that's the thing to consider. I'm able to supply my other forces. Ah, uh, they're going to be driving me back. Okay. All right, all right. We need to try and consolidate our line a little bit. Russian Empire refuses peace. We offered them peace. When? Ooh, 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 ooh. This means cutting off units. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move in, move in. Yes. Okay, perfect, okay. Yeah, it gives me some additional units of mechanized. We can work with this now. And pump out a whole other line of infantry. All right, there we go. Wipe him out, wipe him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move him in, move him in. Okay, maybe now we can shore up the line a little bit. Okay, starting to get some supply in here. This fixes up this issue. No, why are you letting them naval invade you here? Why? Ah, that means taking into some of these divisions and putting them over. Okay, all right. Oh, come on, don't let them do this to you. There you go, just blitz on through and destroy. Okay, let's move on in. If we can wreck through this, we'll be fine. And are we holding here? Yep, yep, we're holding just fine over on this side. That's all right. Yes, Turkey! Turkey, join the Central Powers! Ottomans, come back, yes! Open up this front against the Russians. They will not be able to do anything. Perfect. That might have just saved my butt right here. Congo Free State. Honestly, what is even... Ha oh my god, I lost control of everything in the south. I did not even realize that any of this was happening down here. God damn it, Italy! Okay, there we go. That cuts off their tank divisions. That means we can go over here and exploit this. What the fuck? Hungry. Why are they giving it control to Hungary? Okay, perfect. That is going to cut off all their forces. Excellent, excellent. Let's move on in. The most Swedish thing we could do. Recycle. As in recycle their dead bodies in order to fuel our war industry. There we go. Perfect. That finally wipes out that Russian invasion force that has been bothering us for the last like six months. So, okay. Since the attention of Russia is now split and they had to move a bunch of forces down here, that means it's the perfect opportunity for us to go over here now and use these mechanized in order to create some chaos. Oh, we took St. Petersburg. 
All right, snuck right on through. Wonderful. Let's get some more Viking units out here and some more infantry. I think we can actually afford that now because we have to do something in order to help over here. And all right, we can't do anything over here necessarily, but Turkey is going to be fighting on all sides on this side. Let's see, we can't really do anything in the south because there's simply too many things to focus on. That's not going to work. We need to try and eliminate as many things over here in Russia as we can. So let's start doing that. There we go. One at a time. Just keep on moving in. There we go. There's another group. All we got to use is this mechanized and gradually move our way in here, eliminating each and every single piece. Russia has declared war on Israel. The great fight. I don't even know what's even happening down here. The fact that Israel exists is so cursed right now. Israel has joined the central powers. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Eliminate all these. We have 0% consumer goods at this point. God dang it. Wow. And there we go. There's another group wiped. Actually, truthfully, at this point, wait, can we just go? 60% value. Fucking hell. Just go. We outnumber them. There is quite literally no one here. Oh, yes, yes, baby. Go, go, go. Cut off the entire front line of the Russians. Oops, simply wonderful. Yes, we are pushing into the front line. Let's keep on going. Okay, we need to shore up this line here in the south because otherwise they're going to be invading through here. But we've cut off the Russian northern armies. Let's keep them going. Let's go, my brothers. All that green, all that green. Keep it going. We have practically a full army of mechanized here too. So that means that we can just go on through as fast as we want. Fall of Moscow. Oh, whoa. Czechoslovakia calls in the United States as our ally. Oh, baby. Yes. Secure the South then. Czechoslovakia, you finally did something worthwhile. Why would you also declare war on Mongolia? That's the other side of the map, Russia. You're going to split your forces even more. The fall of Baku. Good job, Turks. Good job. Never thought I would be happy to see you fighting in the Caucasus. That usually does not go well for the people involved. Hey, there goes Russia. Okay, perfect. They capitulated to us, which means that we can now move south. A great victory. You shouldn't have declared on Mongolia, which just opened it up to here. All right, now we're going to have to fight through the mountains. So this is going to suck. So here's what we're going to do. Let's create a fallback line over here. Then we're going to take our mechanized and we're going to slap it exclusively right here. All 18 divisions, I don't care. This will allow them to push. Whoa, okay. We are taking that way quicker than I anticipated. They have no units. <laughs> Oh, the Italians can't hold the Alps. Let's go. Let's go. Can't stop the Vikings. I heard you got some riches. Let's do some plundering. Mussolini deposed. Yes, we've taken Italy. Let's get military axes from Czechoslovakia. And let's finish off this war. This is this has gone on for way too long at this point. This is just simply beautiful. And our manpower continuously keeps on climbing because we get such ridiculous amount of non-core population. Ah, just like the Vikings to use some thralls to sacrifice on the front line. It's okay. And there it goes. There's the war. It's done. Well, and there you have it. That's uh, that's the end. Scandinavian Russia, as things were always meant to be. The Kalmar Union reigns supreme with Sweden finally at its rightful head and its royal majesty. Everyone, I think we are done here today. Yes, I could technically turn on the German Empire and finish all this off, but considering that I've been supporting them the entire time in here, it just feels like putting down a diseased dog, and they have sucked themselves in places that I would rather not get the diseases from. So with that, I think that we're going to end today's episode. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I really do hope that uh, you all like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys, and keep giving your suggestions. Thank you. Royal Sweden is fun.